thank you, Madam Vice Chairman, and uh, I'm very happy to see you in the chair and congratulate you. Uh, I rise to support both the bills, the National Dental Commission Bill 2023 and National Nursing and Midwife, Midwifery Commission Bill 2023. Madam, while dealing with both the bills, I'll uh, first uh, speak on a uh, few points on uh, National Dental Commission. I, uh, at the outset, I congratulate the government led by our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, and also congratulate the Health Minister, Sri Mansukh Bhai Mandavia, and his uh, team in the Health Ministry for bringing revolutionary changes, very significant changes in the healthcare system of this country. Madam, we have seen a lot of achievements and a lot of change and transformation in the healthcare system of this country. And if I, uh, I, I'm not going to count all of them because that I will not have that kind of time because I love to speak on the bill also. So, but I must uh, congratulate him that the National Dental Commission Bill 2023 has been brought after the original bill was 1948 and after 75 years of uh, this bill has come. So, so, so I congratulate the minister that he, he thought about it. And before this, he brought the uh, National Medical Commission Bill 20, uh, 2019, uh, which is again, after long gap of the original bill. So they are, uh, they are I, I congratulate both of them for taking this initiative to take, bring the changes uh, into the healthcare system of our country. Uh, Madam, uh, to start with uh, the National Dental Commission bill, I, uh, it, uh, it has dealt with uh, the discrepancies and the weaknesses of the original bill of 1948, and the objectives being uh, this bill is replacing the 1948 bill, and it aims to improve access high quality and affordable dental education, ensure availability of dental professionals and services throughout the country, conduct periodic and transparent assessments of dental institutions, facilitate the maintenance of national dental register, and enforce high ethical standards in all aspects of dental services. Madam, and it, with that end in view, the, the Dental Council has been replaced by the National Dental Commission. And here, uh, the Dental Commission has been formed, with, uh, the, uh, which will be chaired by Cabinet Secretary. And there will be ex officio members, uh, presidents of three autonomous boards, Director General of Health Services, Chief of the, uh, Chief of the uh, Center for Dental and Educational Research at AIMS. Madam, it will include part-time members also. Here I have to uh, make some suggestions because the part-time members uh, are normally taken from uh, the fraternity. And we, as you see, if the commission is flooded with the, with the people from the fraternity only, the views of independent views doesn't come. So in, in uh, information of the commission, it should be taken care that independent views come about there also with experience of the present-day healthcare system. Madam, uh, the functions of the medical, uh, this uh, National Medical Commission has been regulating governance standard for dental education, examination and training, regulating dental institutions and research, uh, accessing infrastructure requirements in dental healthcare, ensuring the admissions of uh, to bachelor of dental surgery happen through the NEET exam. Madam, here the original bill 19, of, uh, of uh, 1940 was, uh, 48 was nearly silent, but this bill has brought, uh, brought clarity 
uh, to the uh, entire system of dental education and dental training. So uh, I, I, I appreciate and, uh, uh, and uh, I appreciate uh, uh, the minister and the health ministry for thinking about it to revolutionize the entire healthcare system. Uh, ma Madam, uh, we know that health is a, a state subject, but over, over whenever, when our uh, Honorable Prime Minister took over, Sri Narendra Modi ji took over, it has revolutionized the system. Most of the initiatives that are seen today in the healthcare system of the country, we, the, all the, most of the systems are, uh, most of the initiatives are taken by the central government. Although it is a, uh, it is a, I, I am not uh, condemning the state government, they are also doing it. But from COVID onwards and before that also, but, and bringing these new, new bills with a new outlook uh, has been brought by the central government only. For that, I uh, congratulate, again, I congratulate the minister because these all initiatives are mostly coming from the central government which are being followed by the state governments and revolutionize the healthcare system. Particularly uh, during the COVID, we have seen the initiative by the uh, Honorable Minister and uh, with the guidance of our Prime Minister that a pandemic like which was never seen in, in the world, COVID was tackled very efficiently, which is being appreciated uh, ab uh, abroad, uh, all over the world, and the new uh, areas that has been covered up. Now, as you see, uh, somebody mentioned about the mental health. Uh, after the COVID, one thing that has come as a new phenomenon is mental health, and also, of course, that sudden heart attack. So these are areas where the ministry is studying. Uh, so far, our committee is also studying, uh, making a study on all that, and uh, I hope that these areas will be covered efficiently by the ministry. And uh, while coming to uh, the ethics and dental registration board, Madam, in every, in every legislation and every field, ethics is one area which is very necessary. Because even in the or original bill, uh, this, was, uh, this, was, uh, this was mentioned uh, like uh, uh, about the ethical uh, area has been and, uh, was mentioned here, uh, as we see that uh, the ethics and dental registration board maintains online uh, national registers for of dentists, dental uh, auxiliaries, regulates standard of conduct ethics and scope of uh, dental practice, suspends, cancel licenses of dentist for uh, misconduct or unethical behavior. Madam, this is a very sensitive area and the unethical behavior, how it will be judged and how it will be determined. So here the ministry has to, uh, all honorable minister has to uh, give some more attention into this so that this is specified. Uh, there is another in uh, section 37, the recognition of uh, dental qualifications granted by institutions outside India. Madam, as you have seen, uh, uh, Ukraine war and many other uh, unrest in the world has seen that the Indian students studying, studying medical, uh, in medical institutions abroad have some issues with that. They have come back. If their degrees are derecognized and uh, if they cannot practice, uh, their entire uh, family, uh, entire family uh, support will go because they have gone with the five family support or bank support and come back. They cannot uh, repay the bank. So I think uh, this uh, ethical commission will put more uh, more uh, attention into it and uh, uh, a, a few words on uh, the. Uh, the establishment of medical education institutes. I really, uh, this country is happy that every district is going to have a medical college. But at the same time, 
it will have one nursing college also in the last budget honorable prime minister has declared that along with the medical college in every district there will be a nursing college madam you are quite aware that the nursing institutes in northeastern region are very few although many in number nurses comes from northeastern region and there is great demand abroad also because of their uh, because of their uh, uh, english language and their sincerity and discipline they are uh, needed uh, every other country needed of all of them and there is great demand but i'm not saying that they, you, you we should send all of them abroad and then we'll we'll have a shortage of nurses in our own hospitals so i i i think uh, the ratio or the balance will be made a mechanism can be established which will maintain the balance between nurses going abroad and nurses uh, demand for nurses in our own country. So I, I, I have nothing much more uh, on nursing and uh, media free bill commission uh, commission bill. Uh, with this, I thank and congratulate honourable prime minister and honourable health minister and his team in the home uh, in the health ministry. Thank you very much. Srimati Mamata Mohanta.